Katana Zero is beautifully dark and filled with many twists and turns. The amazing pixel art and fluid combat grabs you immediately, but it's the crazy story that keeps you for the long haul. This is my review of Katana Zero. Katana Zero is a 2D action platform game where you are a ninja-like character set out to kill targets. With the sword by your side, you cut and dash through your opponents like butter. But if you get hit even once, you must restart the section in which you are playing. This may sound frustrating, but how they have tied failure into the story by saying it's a precognition and how short each section is, it never feels like you missed out on too much progress. I also enjoy how quickly the game throws you back into the action after a failure. There's no real loading screen, just a quick rewind back through how you failed and you're right back to slicing and dicing. Time is a big part of how you play Katana Zero. Interestingly, you're provided a slow time ability. This allows you to think how you should take on each opponent, however the ability can only be used for so long before it runs out, and you have to wait for it to recharge. On the topic of time, each level does have a time limit, however the time does seem very forgiving, and if they do release future DLC, I'd like to see some more maybe nail-biting moments fighting against the clock. The game is played as a series of VHS tapes, so after each complete run through of a section, you get a playback of your run, so you can see how cool you were. One feature of this I really enjoy is how the slow motion is showed at regular speed during the playthrough, so it makes you look even more badass than you thought you were when you were playing through the level. The core gameplay of Katana Zero stays true to itself pretty much through the entire game. You will always be using a sword, slashing and deflecting bullets, but each section of the game has a unique twist, whether it be a stealthily hiding from your enemies or dodging a sniper shooting at you from an unknown location. This is a good thing though, because the gameplay feels so crisp it doesn't get boring in the 4-6 hour long campaign. Katana Zero is set in the futuristic city filled with crime, drugs, and murder. You're an unnamed hero that serves in a war years ago, but have a drug addiction that drives your every move. You are now a hired assassin, and working with your psychiatrist, you must complete your mission as outlined in your dossiers. But there is more to the story than the lets on. The story here is truly amazing. The writing is top notch, and it will always take you in a direction you didn't expect it to go. You learn about the characters around you and they behave in interesting ways based on the dialogue options that you choose. My only criticism about the story is that I wish there was more of it. The game sort of ends on a bit of a cliffhanger, so I hope to see some more from a story DLC in the future to continue the series. It is clear that Katana Zero developers took pride in their music, rightfully so, as it is fantastic. Each area has its own theme song and sets the tone perfectly. Another fantastic touch is how at the beginning of each level, the main character puts their earbud in, giving the full immersion that you are the character who is listening to the music. On top of the music, every sound effect adds to the flavour of the game, and it really is the perfect seasoning to the meat and potatoes. Overall, Katana Zero is a beautiful game that is almost perfect. The only real flaw in the game is that I really want more of it, so I hope to see more of that soon. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe below.